with us. Ladies and gentlemen, Australia and India have always had strong bilateral relationship. And today we are privileged to have in our midst this morning His Excellency, Australia's High Commissioner to India, Mr. Philip Green. May I now request him to kindly address the youngest gathering. Please welcome with a rousing applause. Thank you very much, ma'am. Um, General Chauhan, lovely to see you again this morning. Dr. Subarao, Dr. Silesh Nayak, Lieutenant General Panu, and my friend Anil Prakash. Uh, good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's a privilege and a particular interest of mine to be able to address you briefly today in advance of your very important conference. Australia and India are building a much closer bilateral relationship. India is now one of only two countries on the planet with which Australia has an annual leaders meeting, a two plus two defence and foreign affairs meeting and a free trade agreement. We have established what we call a comprehensive strategic partnership. That's the highest rank of our partnerships on the globe. You will all have seen our leaders meeting together with the leaders of the United States and Japan in the Quad. And you may also have seen our Prime Ministers riding together in a chariot in Narendra Modi Stadium and in Kudos Stadium in Australia. These are powerful signals of the stronger bilateral relationship that we are building. The strategic domain is a key part of that. Australia and India are partners in the Indo-Pacific. We share an ocean, the Indian Ocean. We share a level of concern about developments in the Indo-Pacific. And we are determined to work together for a region which is open and free, where states can decide their destinies by themselves, where free trade and movement is a normal part of our region, and where states are sovereign and not subject to the coercion of others. Space will form an important fraction of this important bilateral strategic relationship. Let me explain to you briefly how significant space is in our defence vision. Our government undertook a major review of our defence and strategic interests last year, and one of its principal conclusions is that space should now be its own domain in our defence arrangements. That is to say, space has joined land, air, sea and cyber with its own place in our key five domains. We have some unique features which makes the Australian space industry one of the fastest growing space industries in the world. We have unique location, a large continent, satellite tracking capabilities, which for instance were key in tracking your successful Chandrayaan-3 uh, moon lander. We have a continent with few people. The consequence of that is that much of our continent has dark skies, which makes astronomical observation much simpler and more effective. We have a strong robotics industry derived from our huge mining sector, in which robotics is a key part. And finally, we have innovative and fast-growing companies. Indeed, the space industry in Australia 
is growing at more than 10% per annum. And I'm delighted that there are representatives of that industry with us here today. For us in space, India is a natural partner. India is emerging as a tech giant. It is, as I say, a strategic partner. And it is clearly emerging as your plans and your successes in space demonstrate a leading power in space exploration and engagement. <clears throat> so for us, the task is to take advantage of those complementary advantages and forge a closer relationship between Australia and India and in space. I'm delighted that today we will see the handing over of an MOU between the SIA or A of Australia and <clears throat> SIA India. That marks an important new departure <laughs> in our space collaboration. And may I finally say, uh, General Panu, I list listened carefully to your explanation of what this conference will comprise to this, uh, these few days. Uh, that's an impressive list of fascinating topics. I, I wish my schedule allowed me to stay for longer. I hope some of my team will be able to stay and brief me later on some of the things you achieve. Uh, I wish you very well in what sounds like a very lively and fascinating conference. I thank you.